Okay, uh, data remnants, um, I just, I, I may have passed over that uh, a little bit too quickly there. And so, um, knowing that uh, there's all kinds of uh, things that we throw away, get rid of, sell on, uh, that contain all kinds of information. Um, and and do remember that um, some UBC students uh, did some research a uh, while back going uh, to India, Africa, places where um, second-hand or disposed of discarded electronics um, ends up uh, with people uh, taking them apart for copper, for aluminum, for any kind of uh, resaleable materials and, and they were able to buy an awful lot of hard drives and other storage units and even whole pieces of equipment which contained an awful lot of information about the companies and individuals in some cases that uh, had uh, owned these devices in the first place. So there is that. And, and again, you know, there's, there's the storage media there's um, the tapes, and we've talked about that in degaussing. Um, hard disks, um, uh, you know, glass hard disks are, are probably a good bet um, if you can specify that. Uh, you know, just smash the the platters. Um, again, you know, it's it's not impossible uh, to recover a lot of information from there, but. Uh, it's going to take a lot of work and, and do you have information that is worth that amount of work? Um, so you may be able to uh, uh, do that. And of course, you know, glass platters will, will shatter um, nicely. Uh, a lot of people talked about, you know, drilling a hole through the hard drive for metal platters. And, and yes, that um, uh, makes it pretty much unusable as a hard drive. But again, it uh, still leaves an awful lot of information available to be recovered mm, reasonably easily where uh, shattered glass platters are uh, probably harder to put back together again. Again, we talked about CDs and DVDs and, and even shredding that can, uh, you know, depending on the, the level of information that you've got, um, uh, that information can be recovered. All of this, all of this comes under the classification as object reuse. And of course, it's not just object reuse in terms of actual objects, actual hard drives, actual devices. Um, oh, and I suppose that I haven't uh, covered uh, um, jump drives, uh, USB drives. Um, went and bought one yesterday, uh, and uh, the person uh, sold me, instead of uh, a jump drive, um, a, an actual solid-state drive uh, for very little more than I was going to pay for the jump drive and, and for twice as much capacity. So, uh, you know, we've got all of these things that are uh, very small, contain high volumes of information, um, may be useful to an attacker. Uh, but there's also um, object reuse in terms of memory. And, you know, do we do garbage collection? And if we do garbage collection, do we zero out that area of memory before allowing it to be reused? So, uh, object reuse in a, a variety of forms there. Um, and if we have very sensitive information, do plan and have procedures for the destruction of that storage media, those devices. You know, if, if it is too much trouble, if, it, if the information is too sensitive, uh, to just discard it or disable it in, in some way. Um, you know, it, it can be uh, that the information is recovered, and if that information is, is really important, um, really sensitive, 
uh, then we have to do something about it. Um, again, um, it's not necessarily that it's just a terribly confidential piece of information in terms of your company, but if you have client data, if you have customer data, if you have uh, data even about your uh, suppliers and contractors that uh, can get into somebody else's hands, um, the embarrassment, and it's not just embarrassment these days, um, the uh, liability that you have if you do not take proper precautions with people's uh, personal information. So their private confidential information, if you allow that to be disclosed, even if it's no longer terribly important to you, the you know, you, you have a liability issue um, if you are negligent in, in not uh, eliminating that information and allowing that data to be recovered by somebody else who may misuse it in uh, a variety of ways. Um, so all of these are aspects are, are related to the idea of data remnants. Um, so have those plans in place, have those procedures, do your classification in terms of uh, the confidentiality of the information, the liability issues uh, possibly relating to the information, and um, the importance of uh, destroying any storage, destroying rendering unrecoverable at the very least or uh, as I say you know I'm saying it's almost impossible to get unrecoverable but um, make sure that it's going to be much more trouble than it's worth for someone to recover that information depending on the nature of the information and like I say you know this goes right back to security management and the classification in the first place you know how important is this information and how important is it to destroy it once we don't want it anymore uh, do not want to manage it do not want to have to control it anymore so what do we have to do with regard to that um, it's part of, of uh, media controls in terms of the disposal destruction or loss of the information and uh, we will talk about that uh, some more in our next time.